how we shy away to come to take the throne To conquer world powers, bring Jake the home I'm quarterbacking like Jake DeLone Like Mount Rushmore, I got a face of stone hey, What's funny, I want to I give a quick testimony about, about verse 12 Read, read verse 12 again, because watch this. I had, a, I had somebody say, oh, we don't know the actual true names. We don't know the true names of Hebrew, right? So what, read this again. Uh, neither is there salvation in any, any other. For there is none other name under, given under heaven among men whereby we must be saved. So, I mean, it says there's no name, no other name other than, uh, under heaven that we might be saved. I asked the dude who says we don't know the true names. What's that name then? He said, well, that's talking about the Lost Statutes and Commandments. That's what he said, right? He said that's the name he's talking about, the Lost Statutes and Commandments, right? Now, let's read verse 10. Let's read verse 10. Verse 10 says, uh, be it known unto you all. And to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Yahweh Shahamashah. So contextually, contextually, where's it again? Uh, be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Yahweh Shahamashah. No, whether you whether you want to deal with whatever form of Hebrew you want or whatever form of Greek you want, that's an actual name right there. That's an actual literal name right there. That's to say we don't know the true names is madness. Because what is that talking about? That's talking about a literal name. Whether you want to call it Jesus. Or Yeshua or Yahweh Shai, right? Oh, oh, I, I got you, brother. Let me finish this, bro. Finish this real quick. And whatever you want to say, right? There has to be a name that we that we call upon for salvation, according to verse twelve. So, so contextually, that's madness. What's your question? Can I take a picture of the name? What's up? Can I take a picture of the name? Well, which name? You talking about on the shirts? No. That's that's yes. Like the, name, like the name of the Bible that we're reading from? No, no, no. What's the name that you just said? Yahweh Shah. That's his name in Hebrew. How do you spell it? It's like, uh, you got a flyer? Yeah, I gave you a flyer. I don't, I don't have it. I gave it back to you. You gave it back to me? You, you should take it now. Give it a flyer. You should take it. I just want to take it. Yeah, it has the name on it. It's like the girl I just gave you. Go ahead. And this is for all you people that, that that's in these other camps who don't believe that you know the most high is manifesting his name to to israel do you think he's going to give us our inheritance now in these last days but you don't think he's going to give us his name this is ezekiel 39 verse 7 so i will make my holy name known in the midst of my people israel what is that talking about what's the, what's, what's your exegesis <laughs> But you gotta say something because even Paul, he said in Romans 11, in verse in verse nine, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, right? That's what it says. Now, if he really meant law, statutes, and commandments, that would be funny as hell. <laughs> because the doctrine that Christ taught was that that's hypocrisy to just talk about that and not actually do it, right? Yeah, exactly. And, right. But it says, with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart that. God has raised him from the dead, and thou shalt be, thou be saved, right? So the law, statutes, and commandments was, was raised from the dead. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. That's it. I also say Christ didn't do the miracles. It's madness. I mean, I'm not going to name any names, but... Uh, anyway, I'll come back from the top. Ezekiel 39 and 7. So will I make my holy name known in the midst of my people Israel, and I will not let them pollute my holy name anymore. And how and how and why is that being done? Because now you're seeing brother say, you better put some respect on the name, right? He says, uh, and the heathen shall know that I am Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel. So, so what's the attribution of the attribution of If we don't know the name, what is your exegesis in that verse, bro? What, what do you do? What do you do when you see the text of Gamerton in the Hebrew? What, what is that? What is it? Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it the YHWH? It should be like, it's like a good man. That's a good way to say it. Read that to you. Okay. Uh, four, four and ten. This is Acts chapter 4 and 10. Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Yahweh Shahamashah of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised. Now showing you is talked by a literal name because it said, because this happened and this happened to this guy whose name was this. Whom God raised from the dead, even by him, 
do it, this man stand here before you hold. Verse 12, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. So if, if, if there's no other name under heaven, <laughs> if there's no other name under heaven that we might be saved, if Yahweh Shai had his name, or Jesus had his name, what's his name? If we don't know the name, we're not getting saved. God damn it. <laughs> this is Proverbs 34. Is yeah. Yeah. This is Proverbs 34. Who have ascended up into heaven, or descended, who have gathered the wind in his fist, who have bound the waters in his garment, who has established all the ends of the earth, what is his name? I'm talking about the Lord. What, what is his name? And what is what? And what is his son's name? What is his what? What is his son's name? Yeah. If thou can tell. <laughs> if you're a if you're a Negro, I'm not Negro. Well, most of a lot of a lot of a lot of them, a lot of them are are, are, uh, are only, only only anyway. But if you're only only, what do you do with that? What do you do? <laughs> the Lord doesn't have a son. Give me, give me uh, 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 Exodus chapter 20, 23, fast. about the angel, whoever gets there. I believe it's 13. What do you do with this if you're old, young? This is Exodus 23 and 20. Behold, I sent an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Well, beware of him and obey his voice. Why? Provoke him not, yeah. for he will not pardon your transgression. He will do what? He will not pardon your transgression. But I thought the Most High was the only person who pardoned transgressions. Madness. For my name is in him. And what? My name is in him. Now look at the name of Yahweh Shai. What, what's inside of that? Yahweh. Go ahead. It says, but if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies and an adversary unto thine adversaries. For my angels shall go before thee and bring thee into the Amorites, in unto the Amorites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Canaanites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. Basically talking about that through the power of him we'll be able to destroy our enemies, right? Because he'll go before you and give you power over your enemies. Give me Revelation chapter 2, verse 27. And like, what I've, what, I've, what I've come to understand about this verse, that we need to start using this verse more. Because I love this verse now, bro. When I finally get the understanding of what this verse is saying, <laughs> the Lord empowers us to be a racist. That's right. What's this? Right. Uh, this is Revelation 2, I'm starting 26. Yeah, 26. And, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. So if I, over, if I overcome the world and listen to Christ all the way to, his, to the end, to him will I get power over the nation. Power over the what? Over, over the, the nation. nation. Now, when you look at that Greek word, it's ethnos. What, 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 what word comes? What word comes from ethnos? Ethnicity. What's the ethnicity? A race. So Christ, if I listen to Christ all the way to the end, He will give me power over the other races. Christ will empower me to be a racist. And what else is going to do? And He shall rule them with a rod of iron. And we're going to rule the races, the other races, with a rod of iron. Go ahead. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, yeah. even even as I received of my father. So this, even as Christ received power from his father, he's going to bestow, uh, bestow it upon us. Right? It's a song, chapter 2 and 8. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. <laughs> what do we do with that verse if you're a Christian? Oh my God. What do you do with that verse? <laughs> you might have thought, oh, you know, they give them half Bibles for the New Testament and Psalms and Proverbs. <laughs> what <are> you, <laughs> you, you, can't, you can't have that song in there. <laughs> Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the up, uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. They're going to be dashed to pieces, man. Go ahead. This is, this is Michael 4 and 11. Now also many nations are gathered against thee that say, Let her be defiled and let her eye look upon Zion. But they know not the thoughts of the Lord, neither understand they his counsel. For he shall gather them as the sheaves into the floor. Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, yeah. for I will make thine horn iron, and I will make thy hoofs brass. And what are we going to do? And thou shalt beat in pieces many people. Yeah. We're going to do what? Beat. And thou shalt 
speak in pieces many people. That's right. And I will consecrate their gain unto the Lord and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. So the Lord, if we listen, if we listen to what Christ said, the Lord, the Lord said, or Yahweh's son, if we listen to him, he's going to embolden us to give us power over the racists. He's going to embolden us to be a racist. And while we're being this ultimate a a apex predator racist, we're going to be in pieces the other nation. Right. And we're going to take all of their gain, all their goods, all their por the forces of the Gentiles. Like I talked about, they're paused. And the forces of the Gentiles, right? We're going to consecrate it unto the Lord. By doing what? Taking their stuff. So how then is everybody going to be accepted in the Lord if the Bible says we're going to do this? Madness, man. Madness. We got to break that up into two different lessons. That's that's two different. You just gonna be you gotta you gotta break down and then you gotta get the other stuff and know. Two two, two, two two different lessons. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. With that, I'm gonna say call Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, and say Mawaf Lava Ball. Mawaf Lava Ball.